Okay, we're gonna be in the Andalusia subdivision in Colleen. This is gonna be a nice area. You are on a cul-de-sac, it is raining out here. So I'll give you that tour a little bit later. But we are gonna walk inside the home. As soon as you walk in, you see that they have stained concrete. Stairs right off to the right hand side. Here's the study slash utility room. Could be turned into a study, could be an office, a kid's corner. Coming in through the house. You have this nice opening here with lofted and vaulted ceiling. Kitchen opens up to the left. You have granite countertops, stainless steel appliance, appliances. Oh, industrial sink with a farm tub sink. Nice. Again, you can tell you got the corner pantry, little coffee bar, little wine rack. Corner pantry, lots of space. You got the dark colored cabinets. There's the dining area here. Opens up into the living room. Again, nice high ceilings, concrete floors, fireplace, huge windows to give you a lot of natural light. Love the view of outside. Coming in, I usually call these the Harry Potter closets. It's under the stairs. Laundry room, washer and dryer. I will not be looking into the garage. They do uh, have Belgian Malinois. They train protection dogs. Nice little bathroom, half bath here for the guests. Coming into the primary bedroom. It's a really good size primary bedroom with a raised ceiling. It's a king size bed and you can tell they still have plenty of room for furniture. <clears throat> nice size TV. Coming into the primary bathroom, you have this gorgeous tub here. It's a jetted tub. You have dual sink vanities. Again, a lot of space. You have a walk-through shower. And this is a walk-in closet. When you come in here, you will see that there is plenty of room for storage for shoes. I did notice this up here. We'll have to see what was going on there. Walk-in shower, two heads, one here, one there, and a rain head, so lots of shower space. And the head upstairs. They are doing some painting. They said that the house will have a fresh coat of paint. Some of the rooms will not, but for majority of the home it will be. Again, nice view, big windows. A little open hallway to separate the rooms, give it some division separation. Here's bedroom number two. It's a good sized bedroom. Double door closets. They are doing some packing. <clears throat> Coming through. You have another bedroom here. Again, really good sized bedroom. Like the Western look. That's where the baby sleeps. Again, nice size closet. So we continue through the house. Bathroom number two. Again, everything looks pretty decent. Bedroom number four. And this is a really, really bigger bedroom here. 
you have this giant bed and still have tons of space. So this could be almost like your secondary primary. Wall mount for TV, you have that corner there. <clears throat> so it's just minor nicks and scuffs. But so far the rest of the house looks pretty great. I don't get the overpowering smell of pets. That's really good, usually because of the stained concrete. There's no dander or anything that's gonna, you know, be on carpets and tiles, things that they can pick up. Here's the backyard. Beautiful view. Swimming pool here. They do have a bit of a dog run that they are gonna fix before they go. Here's the side of the house. Do a little bit of walking out here. I'm not sure who the solar panels are for. We'll have to double check if it's theirs. But again, you get, oh, sorry about that. This area is getting pulled up. They are gonna fix this area with the path to come in here. This little dog run area. Let's go inside again. Got this nice pool by the house. A little covered area here. <clears throat> it's a good entertaining area. So then other than the minor scuffs that every house gets on the walls, things like that, the house is in really good shape. Again, nice big fireplace. All right. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to let me know. Thank you.